In this video, we are going to show you how to collect blood from the tail vein of a fish. We will be drawing blood from a white sturgeon using a needle holder, a one and a half inch long, 22 gauge syringe needle, and a heparinized vacutainer which is used to prevent the blood sample from clotting. The blood vacutainers you see here are 10 milliliters, but a smaller five milliliter vacutainer can also be used. Broodstock are usually given an external tag identifier, like this yellow cattle tag, and also an internal pit tag which requires a scanner to read the ID number for the fish. Before we insert the needle, it is important to position the bevel edge of the needle towards the head of the fish. With the sturgeon line on its back, the syringe is inserted just behind the anal fin until a slight resistance is felt. This resistance is the cartilaginous sheath that protects the caudal vasculature, which includes both the caudal vein and artery. The vacutainer is then inserted into the needle holder, and often at this stage of the procedure, you will push through the sheath and blood will be seen immediately. Sometimes you will need to slowly and just slightly move the needle up and down or to the left or right to find the caudal vasculature. It is also important to select a needle that is long enough to reach the notochord of the fish you are working with. Remove the vacutainer first and then remove the needle separately. This prevents the vacutainer from drawing other tissues into the blood sample. Invert the sample a couple times to ensure mixing of the heparin with the blood and then place the blood sample into an ice chest with gel packs or wet ice it is important to note that the blood cells of fish will degrade if not maintained at a cold temperature. Do not recap the needle, just dispose directly into a sharps container. Collecting a blood sample just behind the anal fin is one of the easiest locations to collect a blood sample from a fish. Finding the perfect location and depth for the needle placement takes some practice, but with some experience, a phlebotomist will develop a feel for the slight resistance of the cartilaginous sheath and find the vasculature within a couple seconds. For UC Davis Aquaculture, this is Joel Van Enenum.